Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam, just register on languageacademy.com.au. You can practice as many questions. On top of that, you can get instant feedback, instant scores and instant suggestions on what are the things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength. You can also take a full scored mock test. You'll get a full scorecard. You'll get in-depth analysis. You'll get tutor's feedback. One mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au. Register over there. Use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. Me and the family are all fine. Well, I hope you and your family have a lovely meal. Yes, you too. According to researchers, the invisibility cloak illusion stems from the belief that we are much more socially observant than the people around us. This means that, while we watch and wonder about other people as much as possible, we often think that people around us are less aware. This illusion occurs because, while we are fully aware of our own impressions and speculations about other people, we have no idea what those other people are thinking unless they close to share with us, something that rarely happens except in exceptional circumstances. Working 9 to 5 for a single employer bears little resemblance to the way a substantial share of the workforce makes a living today. Millions of people assemble various income streams and work independently, rather than in structured payroll jobs. This is hardly a new phenomenon, yet it has never been well measured in official statistics and the resulting data gaps prevent a clear view of a large share of labor market activity. To better understand the independent workforce and what motivates the people who participate in it, the McKinsey Global Institute surveyed some 8,000 respondents across Europe and the United States.
Ethics is a set of moral obligations that define right and wrong in our practices and decisions. Many professions have a formalized system of ethical practices that help guide professionals in the field. For example, doctors commonly take the Hippocratic Oath, which, among other things, states that doctors do no harm to their patients. Engineers follow an ethical guide that states that they hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public. Within these professions, as well as within science, the principles become so ingrained that practitioners rarely have to think about adhering to the ethic it's part of the way they practice. The Global Nutrition Summit will take stock of commitments made to date, celebrate progress toward global goals on nutrition, and announce new commitments to accelerate the global response to malnutrition. The event is open to governments, civil society, multilateral agencies, private foundations, and companies. After a decade of decline, the recent news that global hunger is on the rise with the number of undernourished people increasing from 777 to 815 million in 2021 signals the urgent need for action. During a time of political change around the globe, this event is an opportunity for world leaders to make new pledges and commit to upholding prior ones. Nutrition plays a critical role not only in child health and survival. Plastic domes can be produced from a quality plastic called plexiglass. Its qualities are closer to glass. Its light permeability doesn't change with time. Its surface is hard and smog and dust do not stick to or bake onto the surface. Each rain completely rinses it, making itself cleaner. The surface is scratch resistant against flying dust and strong wind. It has excellent optical characteristics and the ability to collect sunlight and send it down the tube. It doesn't age under UV rays or temperature changes or moisture. Its disadvantage is, however, a higher price. Some producers don't use a dome, but instead, use a roof window to which they then attach a sun tunnel to. This is an interesting solution, but only for spaces where a lower amount of sunlight is enough.
consider the current situation. Like their counterparts in the United States, engineers and technicians in India have the capacity to provide both computer programming and innovative new technologies. Indian programmers and high-tech engineers earn one quarter of what their counterparts earn in the United States. Consequently, India is able to do both jobs at a lower dollar cost than the United States. India has absolute advantage in both. In other words, it can produce a unit of programming for fewer dollars than the United States, and it can also produce a unit of technology innovation for fewer dollars. The advantages and disadvantages of solar power compared to other forms of renewable energy have been greatly debated. While obviously superior to some forms of energy, solar power's high cost and efficiency dependent on geography have limited its appeal. However, a large number of advantages also merit further development and even possible adaptation for residences. Solar energy remains popular because it is both a renewable and clean source of energy. These advantages along with the hope that eventually nations can use solar power to decrease global warming ensure its popularity. Sydney is becoming effective in making the best of its limited available unconstrained land. Sydney is suitable for integrating suitable business, office, residential, retail and other development in accessible locations so as to maximize public transport patronage and encourage walking and cycling. Also this city can reduce the consumption of land for housing and associated urban development on the urban fringe. For the proposed mixed business, mixed use and business park areas, there was no employment data available for comparable areas. It is also concluded that lack of housing supply will affect affordability in Sydney. If you are interested in studying but have other commitments, our online and distance learning courses offer an alternative flexible mode of study. 
Teaching is conducted through a mixture of audiovisual, written and interactive materials. There are also opportunities for online discussion and collaborative projects with tutors and other students. Some programs include residential modules taught on campus, giving you the chance to meet and work alongside your tutor and fellow students face to face. Our graduate school provides comprehensive support for distance and part time researchers, many of who study for up to six years or more. Researchers studied groups of people from the University of Wisconsin-Madison community, ranging in age from 18 to 65. The first group was asked to perform simple tasks, like pressing a button every time they took a breath or clicking in response to a letter popping up on a computer screen. These tasks were so easy that their minds were likely to wander, the researchers figured. The researchers checked in periodically asking the participants if their minds were on task or wandering. When the task was over, they measured each participant's working memory capacity by having them remember letters while doing math equations. Though all participants performed well on the task, the researchers noticed that the individuals who indicated their minds had wandered more than others also scored higher on the working memory test. A major review of antidepressant has found they are largely ineffective and may even be harmful for children and teens' depression in the Amazon. The true effectiveness and risk of serious harm is found in the borders of Amazon such as suicidal thoughts remain unclear because of the small number of trials and the selective reporting findings in published trials and clinical study report. The study author recommends that children and adolescent taking antidepressant should be carefully monitored closely and permanently, however, prohibits the study of children's antidepressants. This was widely opposed by multi-million companies that have already invested antidepressant. It is therefore recommended a child could self-reproach starting with a low dose and build up gradually within to prevent the side effects. Hey Sahan, you are looking so much happy. What's the matter? Yeah, 
To me, you were right. I am so much happy now. Actually, I was talking with my father about my aim in life. That's why I am so happy now. So you were you talking about your choice of career in the future? Yeah, I was. What's that? I want to become a doctor. From my childhood, I wanted to become one. I talked with my dad today about it and he has inspired me a lot. That's very good. Why do you want to become a doctor? I want to serve the poor people. Actually, I am from a village and I have seen people there lot of people not getting enough treatment and they are dying without medicine and proper treatment. The next topic is going to be black holes, and this is a similar situation. 15, 20 years ago black holes were sort of poised precariously on the boundary between theoretical physics and science fiction. A boundary that is more porous than you might believe. But again, in the past 15 years or so this has been converted into a standard topic in observational astronomy. There are dozens, probably hundreds of objects we can point to in the sky and say, yes those things are black holes. And so now, the current topic of research is do these things that we are pretty sure are black holes actually behave in the incredibly bizarre science fiction why manner that the theoretical physicists have been talking about for the past 30 or 40 years. We know infinitely more about the wealthy people of Egypt than we do about the ordinary people, as almost all the monuments were for the rich and influential. Houses in which ordinary Egyptians lived have not been preserved and when most people died they were buried in simple graves with few funerary goods. Most of our traditional sources of information about the Old Kingdom are those concerned with death and the rituals surrounding death. These include pyramids, tombs and graves, but also statues, reliefs and paintings. Even papyri come mainly from pyramid temples. But this does not mean that death was the Egyptians' only preoccupation.
presidential hopeful Mitt Romney pledged to achieve North American energy independence by 2020 this week. That's a presidential move because every president since Richard Nixon has pledged some version of the same thing, including Romney's opponent President Barack Obama. Obama's version is called the All of the Above Strategy. More domestic oil production to reduce imports. More electricity derived from wind, sunshine and natural gas added to the U.S. grid. Even more coal, as long as it has CO2 capture and storage attached. Romney's plan differs only in the details. That increased domestic oil production should come from drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge and other public lands, for example, as well as off the eastern seaboard. Many different types of barcode scanning machines exist, but they all work on the same fundamental principles. They all use the intensity of light reflected from a series of black and white stripes to tell a computer what code it is seeing. White stripes reflect light very well, while black stripes reflect hardly any light at all. The barcode scanner shines light sequentially across a barcode, simultaneously detecting and recording the pattern of reflected and non-reflected light. The scanner then translates this pattern into an electrical signal that the computer can understand. All scanners must include computer software to interpret the barcode once it's been entered. Growing unemployment and lack of motivation among the educated young men have drawn many of them to the world of crimes. Thefts and waylaying are no more the monopoly of illiterate ruffians. Graduates in jeans are now the active members of the crime world. The new wave of consumerism has added only fuel to the fire. Craze for foreign goods, cars, bikes, dresses and cosmetics has fueled their ambitions. They need fast money to fulfill their never-dying desires. There are no shortcuts to reduce the growing crime rate in society. Of course, it is the duty of the police to maintain law and order in public. Efficient and impartial functioning of the police can help in curbing the crime rate in society. Bedging often suffers choking air. 
but there's now one more thing proven to dissipate it, an Olympics. The 2008 Summer Games impelled those in charge of the Chinese capital to clear the air. Not only did they banish smog and smoke, they also inadvertently cut greenhouse gas emissions by as much as 96,000 metric tons during the Games. That's according to a new analysis published in Geophysical Research Letters on July 20. The key was banning half of all the private cars in the city from driving on any particular day during the event. The finding suggests that individual choices like whether to drive or take public transit to work have major cumulative effects. London's so-called congestion charge for driving in town likewise cuts traffic and pollution. Social media are referred to as the advanced online platforms which help people to come and connect together. Nowadays, it has become a great medium to share and start relationship between two and more individuals. Apart from this, the social media genre has availed people quick access to precise and fundamental data. As we have seen, the schools have their own websites on which they provide academic information about the school's regulations, rules, departments, environment and so on. The social media has also enabled people to share information not just with a group or a person, but with general public as well. Migration is a major issue faced by cities. In search of a better and brighter future and to fulfill their dreams, people from small towns and villages move to cities. Unfortunately, their dreams shatter. Migration from villages to cities has led to the spread of urban slums. They gradually get entangled in the deplorable conditions. People living in these slums lead a miserable life. They have to survive in unhygienic living conditions, are deprived of proper meals and they lack money and jobs. They can't even afford to fall ill because they don't have enough funds for treatment.
the policy of reservation of seats for admission to the professional courses is good for the deprived sections of society. The deprived sections of the society were not given equal right and opportunities. It is only after independence that the Constitution has given importance to the deprived sections by introducing reservation for them. This is a boon for the weaker sections as it gives them the opportunity to excel in the fields of education and get their desired jobs. Getting a seat in a professional college is not easy. A sound financial stability is needed to join the coaching institutes and to get good books and material. The people belonging to the deprived sections lack this monetary support. As modern times dawned, people changed their ways of living. As newer inventions kept making their lives easier and easier, people became materialistic. They gave up simple joys of life, such as spending time with family, going outside to play, reading, etc. As a result, their ability to think about greater things in life deteriorated. Eventually, people started getting burdened with worries, anxiety, and negative thoughts. This led to various lifestyle diseases, such as obesity, diabetes, cancer, etc. A simple living means to be content with only that which is necessary. Spending excessive money on expensive things, which one may not need is not simple living. It even has consequences. For instance, in order to maintain a lavish lifestyle, one often spends more than what one earns. Our education system is made in such a way that it favors the elite. The elites are rewarded by a laureate system that put emphasis on the results obtained by simple intelligence tests. Based on this system, what is left for parents is to ensure that their ward tops the class. In order to make their ward the topper of the class, they send them to tuitions. Tuition may lead to too much of pampering and may kill the self-effort of the student. The student would not touch the book unless the tuition teacher turns up. Instead of working and learning on his own, he becomes so dependent on the tuition teacher that, ultimately the gain would be perceptibly nil. Private tuition can be a financial burden to parents who are poor.
the critics of rainwater harvesting suggest that infrastructure is needed for rainwater harvesting and not everyone can do it. I would like to enlighten them that rainwater harvesting is a very simple method that can be practiced by anyone. There is rooftop rainwater harvesting. In this, the roof of a house or building works as a rainwater collection unit. It includes equipping the roof with pipes that direct to a pit or tank. These pipes will divert the water falling on the roof in the tank to save water from falling off. This is a very economical and efficient way to harvest rainwater. The giant strides in the field of science and technology was possible only through persistent effort of scholars and scientists. Their thirst for knowledge lessons learned in the classrooms has made our lives more comfortable and luxurious. Similarly, the lessons that we learn in the classrooms would help us shape our future, career and life. In this age of cutthroat competition, a difference of one mark in academics can make the difference in success and failure at times, that change our very own lives. Our academic achievements not only help in passing competitive examinations, but also mold our personality in the future. There is sufficiency in this world for man's needs but not for man's greed. Unfortunately, this is the scenario today. The things that were regarded luxuries at one point of time are now termed as necessities. We cannot imagine life without certain items like a computer, a washing machine or even a mobile phone. But weren't our parents and their parents able to lead content lives even without these things? It is time that we understand that we have become slaves to our greed. We not only are drying up resources rapidly to get what we want but are degrading our health too. Human beings are never satisfied with what they already have. They always want more and more. When one is unable to have exactly what one wants, one becomes sad and dissatisfied.
A conventional sales are when the home is owned outright or the seller owes less on the mortgage than fair market value. Conventional sales involve quicker transactions between both parties, unlike foreclosures, short sales and probate sales. We typically recommend conventional sales for our buyers, especially first-time homebuyers, to help them avoid the complications they could run into when dealing with distressed properties or probate sales. For a majority of buyers who are looking to purchase and move into their dream home as soon as possible, conventional sales are the way to go. Oftentimes, distressed properties can take many months for the seller's bank to approve an offer or for a court date to bet set in the case of a probate sale. Land reclamation has been carried out along the coast of Tokyo Bay since the Meiji period. Areas along the shore with a depth of fewer than 5 meters are simplest to carry out landfills, and sand from the floor of Tokyo Bay is used for these projects. The topography of the shoreline of Tokyo Bay differs greatly from that of the pre-modern period due to ongoing land reclamation projects. Tokyo Bay includes about 249 square kilometers of reclaimed land area in 2021. Aggregate household waste production is enormous in Greater Tokyo. There is little room for traditional garbage disposal sites. Waste is rigorously sorted at the household. Much of it is turned into ash and further recycled into Bay Landfill. Understanding migration was conceived in response to numerous requests from educators and curriculum specialists concerning the presentation and discussion of issues related to human migration in the social studies classroom. What are the reasons that large groups of people have found themselves moving from place to place? What effects does this movement have? And most importantly, how can such a fluid and nebulous concept be presented in a classroom in an easy-to-follow manner with clear lesson objectives and outcomes? Regional case studies were chosen to address these, and other, essential questions. Where possible, we have used primary source documents to present the information in each case study. The Knowledge Challenge invites proposers to submit proposals for research activities aimed at improving our basic understanding of entrepreneurs and the levers, tools and methods that can advance entrepreneurship in the United States.
The Knowledge Challenge is open to proposers conducting research in universities and academic institutions, laboratories, companies, nonprofit organizations, and as individuals. Collaborations between academic researchers and entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship support programs, and other entrepreneurial ecosystem builders are welcome. The Knowledge Challenge may grant up to $400,000 annually for project teams, up to $150,000 annually for individual researchers, including hiring contract or research assistants. How are you Nisha? I am good, what about you? I am good too, but there is a thing that is bothering for a couple of days. What is that? Poverty in Bangladesh, I have read newspaper reports and saw some reports on television and I learned that Bangladesh has an extreme problem with poverty. Yeah, I heard about that too. Do you know about the data or exactly number? According to some statistic around 5% of people are living below the line of poverty in this country. Dams are huge man-made structures that act as barriers on a river. Today, the main reason people build dams is to produce electricity. They are also built to restrict and control the flow of water in a river. Throughout history, dams have been used to prevent flooding and to irrigate farmland. Dams supply about a sixth of the world's electricity and they significantly reduce the risk of floods and droughts. They also make water easier to access, especially in desert-like areas, where water is in low supply. There are however, some negative effects of damming rivers. Many people's homes are knocked down to make space for the dam, and flooding can occur in the reservoir, which is the area behind the dam where water collects. In every recession, marketers find themselves in poorly charted waters because no two downturns are exactly alike. However, in studying the marketing successes and failures of dozens of companies as they've navigated recessions from the 1970s onward, 
We've identified patterns in consumers' behavior and firm strategies that either propel or undermine performance. Companies need to understand the evolving consumption patterns and fine-tune their strategies accordingly. During recessions, of course, consumers set stricter priorities and reduce their spending. As sales start to drop, businesses typically cut costs, reduce prices, and postpone new investments. Marketing expenditures in areas from communications to research are often slashed across the board but such indiscriminate cost-cutting is a mistake. And one particular crop, almond in the US and now in Australia, is transforming the world of beekeeping and a bees. What has happened is that something serendipitous came along that people found out, that doctors found out that almonds are good for you, a confection but it's good for you. The almond board got a very aggressive promotion going on for almonds. They actually, I just heard recently, send out sales reps to cardiologists at hospitals to promote the heart benefits of almonds. In a very good promotion of almonds, and it's legitimate promotion because they are a healthy food. Another way in which the industry exerts pressure on doctors is by offering us a variety of professional services. In one of these services, widely advertised to GPs, a company representative shows the practice manager how to use a company disc to trawl through the practice database identifying patients with problems which might be treatable with the company's products. When that has been done, a company-sponsored nurse interviews the selected patients and draws up a management plan for the GP which, if approved by the doctor, attracts a Medicare item number. One of these companies proudly announces that over 65,000 patients were assessed in this way in 2005. What, one may ask, is a pharmaceutical company doing assessing patients? Social harm originates out of a series of debates within criminology about the narrowness of the definition of crime, that essentially, focuses on individual acts of harm, things like interpersonal violence, theft, so on and so forth. So the idea of social harm originally was to expand that notion of harm to encompass the harms that organizations and nation-states cause. 
but latterly the idea of social harm really now transcends criminology so there are a group of writers who think that and I would include myself there that actually there's something to social harm that could be very useful in terms of trying to understand the harms that occur within society, to produce an objective and well-rounded analysis of harm. Secure financial messaging services provider Swift said today that it has expanded the GPI tracker system to help banks track their global transactions at all times, keeping full vigil on the payments activity. Extension of its GPI tracker will cover all payment instructions sent across the network, Swift said in a statement. The introduction of the unique end-to-end -end transaction reference in all payment instructions will be effected through the mandatory annual standards update in November 2021. Swift GPI improves customer experience by increasing speed, transparency and automatically provides status updates to all GPI banks involved in any GPI payment chain, it said. Have you ever wanted to turn down the volume at a deafening concert or noisy bar? Envy the whale. A new study finds that toothed whales can reduce their own auditory sensitivity when they expect a loud sound. The work is presented at this week's Acoustics 2012 meeting. Whales and dolphins rely on their responsive hearing to interpret returning echolocation clicks. Previous research suggested that these marine mammals could dull their hearing before uttering outgoing echolocation clicks, which are very loud. Could they use the same coping mechanism for external noises? To find out, researchers trained a false killer whale that a loud noise would always follow a brief warning signal. Then, they attached suction cup sensors to the outside of the whale's head and played the signal. If you are carrying out building work personally, it is very important that you understand how the building regulatory system and material applies to your situation as you are responsible for making sure that the work complies with the building regulations. If you are employing a builder, the responsibility will usually be theirs but you should confirm this at the very beginning. 
You should also bear in mind that if you are the owner of the building, it is ultimately you who may be served with an enforcement notice if the work does not comply with the regulations. Some kinds of building projects are exempt from the regulations, however generally if you are planning to carry out building work, as defined in Regulation 3 of the Building Regulations, then it must comply with the building regulations. Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.